Round of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he is a two-time world kickboxing champion. His professional record, 42 wins with 11 losses. 27 of those wins have come by knockout. He makes his glory debut tonight in Arnhem. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.79 meters. He weighed in at 187.2 pounds, 84.9 kilograms. Fighting tonight and representing Germany, here is Sergei Braun. Now introducing his opponent, he won his glory debut in Dusseldorf earlier this year. As a professional, 13 wins, two losses, one bounce scored even, six of those 13 wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet even, 1.85 meters, he weighed in at a ready 185.4 pounds, 84.1 kilograms. Fighting here from Ghana, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Michael Timbombopea. And the third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Tomislav Novosel. Gentlemen, you know the rules. I want a clean fight. Touch your gloves, step back in your corner. Joe, what kind of fight are we going to see here? Well, I know Boa has got one style. It's coming forward, so I think Braun's going to have to move for a little bit, but there's going to be a point where he's going to have to stand there and fight back. Judge. We'll see when Judge. that point is in the fight. Judge. First round. Sergey Braun from Germany. Five. Michael Boa Pea, the time bomb, representing Ghana, and quickly Braun to the butt. Yeah, and you see Boa Pea right in the pocket. But in the pocket is where Braun does well. That's the Kyokushin style. They sit in the pocket, they rip the body in low kicks, rip the body kick. So this is a good style for Braun as well. Boa Pea usually comes out, gums blazing. There's a right hand. Yep. Good angles right now from Braun. You see him hitting, kind of taking small little angles, trying to open up the guard. Oh! Big right hand connects for the time bomb. And that'll back the German up. Yeah, patient now with the knees. Yeah. Boapea can really mix things up really well. He's good with the hands. So explosive. That knee didn't find a home. Yeah, I like that body work from Braun. Going body head. But he's got to watch out for those knees. Bopea has got a nice high guard blocking a lot of these punches. But eventually, he needs to counter back. High kick, not quite connecting. And off balance again is Bopea. I like that double hook bronze throwing. Head, body, mixing levels with it. Outside of that one huge shot that Braun absorbed, he's done pretty well in this round. Yeah, he's being first. He's mixing his combinations, mixing levels. I think Boapea is just kind of feeling it out right now. Well, Braun said, I know he's going to come out hard. I just need to try and slow him down a little bit, then take over. But it's been Braun who's pushed the pace. Yeah, but when Boapea lands, you see it doing more damage too, right? He just landed another right hand there, and you see kind of Braun stumble a little bit. Good inside low kick from Braun. Yep, nice liver shot from Bopea. Bopea loves that tight high guard. Oh yeah, and the way he fires off of it is what makes him so good. Do you teach your students to keep that high guard? Um, I, I teach a mixed guard, right? On the inside, you have to play high guard. On the outside, more parries and head movement. So, Boa Pei would be uh, penalized in your class, right? No, no, but that's kind of my style. You watch my fights. It's that high guard pressure Whoa. combinations, head kicks. Braun trying some spinning attacks. Yeah, Boa Pei is an inside fighter, but as you exit, that's when he mixes his head kicks well. He got a nice knockdown in his debut with that left head kick. Well, it's easy to see Boa Pei hits harder, but it's Braun who hits more often. Yep. Remember, it's about damage, right? It's not about how many shots you hit. It's when you hit, do you do that? Good one-two by Boa Pea, who tries to end the round strong. But Braun, to his credit, delivers some shots of his own. Yeah, Braun looked good.
sleeping. All right, Michael Bolpea, the time bomb. A fighter that we're all excited to see. He had a, a tougher round here, but you see him mixing his strikes. He does like the uppercut outside of the ring. Very interesting. Bill's coffins. <laughs> it's kind of a job that works hand in hand, you know? And this is the guy he wants to put in a coffin. Sergey Braun, who said, listen, my number one attribute is my endurance. Born and raised in Kazakhstan, but represents Germany, of course, his kickboxing role model, the great Andy Hu. Yeah, one of my favorite. Both Kyokushin fighters, that's why. Let's see how good his stamina is. Yeah, it's a lot of action from Braun coming forward, but Boapea, when he lands, he's doing a lot of damage with that overhand right. But it's that activity of Braun touching the body, head body, but it's these unorthodox kind of kicks and knees that are coming from Boapea that Braun needs to be careful of. Very close first round. Well, we do have open scoring. I'll be interested to see what the five judges thought of that round. Yeah, because I keep mentioning it's damage inflicted is the most important scoring criteria. So you can hit a thousand jabs, but if I crack you with a couple good right hands, I should win the round. Again, the spinning attack, nobody home. What? Ooh, those knees are getting close. Straight right hand from Boapea. Hey, this is a good fight, by the way. Yeah, let's sit in the pocket and go. Body kick there from Boapea, who's quickly shortening the distance between the two. Yeah, he just landed a good uppercut in that exchange there. Big power hooks, now switching stances. And there are the judges scores three, giving it to the Ghanaian and two to Braun. So it was close, Joe. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. It's tough to call because Braun basically hasn't stopped. Yeah. He just keeps throwing, but I think Boapay is a little bit more active now. He needs to counter back a little bit more because Braun doesn't seem to be slowing down. And those gloves have dropped for Boapay as well. Not quite as high as they were. Straight right hand. Look at the output, Joe. Yeah. Almost identical. Yeah, both landing a lot of good strikes, but look at that four or five hit combinations back and forth. Oh, a big Oy. right blast, the mouthpiece no, 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 no. out by Boa Pea. What a right hand. Set it up with a jab, nice and clean, too. Well, if we wondered who was hitting harder, I think we got our answer. Yeah. Hey, what? So back into the fray they go. Left hand, that hook scores for Boa Pea, and he's really moving Braun around the ring now. now. This is what they call phone booth fighting. Just sit in the pocket and go. Left hook from Boa Pea. Just cleaning clocks now on the inside is Boa Pea. That right uppercut's landed like three or four times. That is his favorite strike. Spinning back fist. More of a forearm there. Either way, Braun is just getting smothered by Boa Pea now. Still looking to counter back. Still showing that fighter spirit. But definitely better pressure and strike selection for Boa Pea. Good left hook on the inside from Braun than a right. Nice kick punch mix there for Braun. Don't count him out yet by any means. Oh, he's got Boa Pea oh. on wobbly legs. How about this from Sergey Braun? And now he's the one moving Boa Pea left and right. Angling and slugging big bombs. What a fight. This is the way you kick off a pay-per-view. You said it in the open. You're like, this could be a, a headliner on, on a lot of cards. Look at it. Go. Hey, action. And Braun, who looked like he might have been losing this round, came back oh. with force. Very impressive from Braun. Yeah. Joe, Boapea does not look great. Yeah, he's looking like he ate those shots like he did in the second round, but we've seen some good shots there from Boapea. That was a nice jab right hook that knocked the mouth guard out. Boom. Yep, nice little shot. Good timing, nice setup. But then we've seen Braun just kind of step in there a little bit, find that nice left hook, finding angles. And the best thing is he's throwing in combinations. It's not a single shot. One, two, three, four. He's following up head-body combinations with angles, a little bit of stance switch in there. Very good inside fighting. 
Joe, it, it certainly should come down to this third round. For me, it's 1-1. One, one. It has to be. And remember, Braun told us his number one strength, not his boxing, not his, his kicks, not his... It was his stamina, Joe. So this is where the proof is in the pudding. Round three. How hard did you train? Look at these combinations to start. Boy, Braun does look like he's got tons of energy left. But here comes Boa Pea. So since, ooh, nice hook. But since we're talking about Kyokushin karate, a lot of the old kickboxers were Kyokushin fighters that transitioned over to kickboxing. It's a prime example of how good and tough they are. Wow, surprise there perhaps, Joe. Three yep. judges giving that to Boa Pea. So now let's look at the totals. And it will come down to this final round. The scores are all over the place. Is it the volume? Is it damage? But Boa Pea is still pressuring. They're going back and forth. Yeah, Boa Pea, though, when he misses Joe, he leaves himself so vulnerable. Yeah, there's definitely some fatigue now from Boa Pea. Obviously from Braun, too, but... They're still throwing. Braun has thrown over 150 head punches. Ooh. Straight right from Boa Pea, clipped the chin. Oh, But now it seems, maybe I'm wrong, but is it Braun that's hitting harder? It looks like it. And I like that spinning back kick to the body as well. But you see those, those exchanges, and Boa Pea lands a nice big right hand. You got to value that. It's going to come down to the final 90 seconds. Which man would you rather be? Oh. Neither man. I don't have a to say. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I would not want to be taking either one of these guys' punches. Nice shot to their body. Well, my answer would be I'd like to be both of them. So I'd love to be in there. Come on. Giving it all they have got, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Pay with a little bloody nose now, still popping and coming forward. Braun's not stopping. Braun looks fresher. Yep. Popping his punches now. I love those spin kicks. Boy, that would, that would have, if that connected, the head was gone. Oh, oh he's it, out. He's out of his feet. It down oh. goes Boa oh. Pea. What a turnaround. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He does eight. not look good. One to me. One to me. No, nope, his eyes are rolled. Here oh. we go. His eyes are still rolled. He he's is still done. out. He Finished. Is it a head kick that he can mix it here? Braun has to pick it up. And there it is off the ropes. They're still going to let it continue. 20 seconds to go. Can Boa Pea survive? Oy. Boa Pea not even throwing back. He's just standing there taking punches and kicks. He's a bloody mess. Seven seconds left. Braun wants to finish. Let's see how he can do it. How did Boa Pea last? What a fight! But all of the salutations should go to Sergey Braun, who came back and beat Michael Boa Pea in style. Yeah, Boa Pea with so much hype behind him, too, to step in there, stay in the pocket with him, and scrap, knowing how good his pressure fighting was, just shows how good Braun is, how exciting. And you're absolutely right, that endurance was phenomenal. Hey, all the hype coming into this, this into this fight was around Boa Pei after we saw his last performance. Braun was just kind of a, this is his glory debut. He was supposed to lose this fight, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. There's a lot of hype behind Boa Pei after that debut, but Braun really ruined the party for him. Oh boy, did he. And Boa Pei, hey, give him credit. Somehow he lasted that last 30 seconds. Yeah, but Boa Pei, 22 years old, still very impressive. All right, the decision when we return to Arnold. We welcome you back to Arnhem, the Netherlands, and what a firecracker of a fight we just had in our opener. Right from the start, both went head to head and started throwing combinations back and forth. We saw a lot of good early power shots from Boa Pea, but Sergey Braun just kept in the pocket, good combination, mixing levels, attacking the body. But it was really back and forth in the first two rounds and just great combinations. You see them attacking the body, mixing uppercuts. Bopea was trying to land knees, but 
when Braun came forward, what made it special was his great endurance, the way he put his power punches in combinations to get him good finishes like that. There's the head kick he threw to try to get the finish. You see Boa Pea's on wobbly legs. What a great debut for Braun. Here are the strike count statistics. Braun, 132 of 247. He really came on in that third round and just kept throwing punches and kicks. Good knees from Boa Pea. And then round three. The first two rounds, razor close, but in the third, no question about it. It was all Sergey Braun. The decision now with Tim Hughes. What a way to start the night. This one goes to the judges' scorecard after three hard-fought rounds, and here are the scores from our five ringside judges. Two of our judges score this bout even, 28-28. Two judges have the bout, 29-27, and our fifth and final judge sees it, 30-26. For your winner by majority decision, Sergey Brown! All right, I'm here with your winner, Sergey Braun. There was a lot of hype behind Boa Pea coming in here, and you just ruined the party. Um, also, du bist hergekommen und du hast halt einfach alles wirklich grandios gemacht. Du hast alles fertig gemacht. Wie, wie, wie geht's dir? Mir geht's gut, Holland. Danke schön für eure Unterstützung, Welt. Mega, dass ihr dabei seid. Ich freue mich riesig, hier dabei zu sein, ein Teil dieser großen Geschichte und vor allem ein Teil von dem großen Kampf over him gegen Harry. Heute Nacht. Mega. Um, he's very, very thankful to be here. He thanks all of you. He thanks Holland that it's possible to fight here. He, is, he enjoys to be here, to be a part of this great evening here, to be a part of the fight today from Badr Hari and uh, Overeem. So, yes, he is very thankful. All right, Holland, let's hear it for your winner, Sergey Braun. Indeed, what a performance by Sergey Braun, who was about a three-to-one underdog, according to the Las Vegas Lines.